If you already own the original Oculus Quest headset, should you look into upgrading to the Quest 2? Coming up, I'm going to share three reasons why I decided to personally upgrade. Hey, Jerry here and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, I do videos on lifestyle and tech, so if that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. Okay, so on to the Quest 2. As I mentioned before, I actually already owned an Oculus Quest 1. In fact, I purchased it only a few weeks before the Quest 2 was announced, but despite that, I still ended up getting the Quest 2. The first reason as to why I ultimately decided to upgrade was PC VR gaming. If you already have a capable enough gaming PC, acquiring a Quest 2 along with using Oculus Link or Virtual Desktop is easily the cheapest way into getting into PC VR gaming. I am fortunate enough to already own a gaming PC. I'm actually thinking of doing an updated PC build video in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. I've been having an absolute blast playing games like Half-Life Alex, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, and Blade and Sorcery. The graphics and performance to handle PC VR games at this price point is phenomenal, which leads me to my next point. Bang for your buck. Starting at $299, the base Oculus Quest 2 model, the one I own, has a display resolution of 1832 by 1920 pixels per eye, which is 50% more than the Quest 1, a faster processor with a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 chip, 6GB of RAM versus the 4GB of RAM on the Quest 1 and has a refresh rate of 90Hz compared to 72Hz on the Quest 1. In terms of hardware and specs, this is a massive upgrade. And the price is significantly lower. I paid $399 for the original Quest headset. Switching from using the Quest 1 to the Quest 2, I could tell the difference right away in the visuals and performance. Overall, gaming was a lot smoother, watching movies was sharper, and there was less lag when playing PC VR games. For $299, you are literally getting the best of both worlds of standalone VR gaming on games from the Quest Store and playing PC VR games, and on top of that, being able to play those PC VR games tether free using a virtual desktop. On to my last reason, multiplayer. Gaming in VR can get a little lonely. With the Quest 1 and the Quest 2, I was now able to play multiplayer Quest games with my siblings. And this was actually done using one account on both headsets. We've recently been shooting away zombies in games like Arizona Sunshine and Death Rise and Reloaded, and also making sandwiches under pressure in the game Cookout. I just want to quickly note that not all Quest multiplayer games support single account multiplayer. I will list some games that support this feature that I've been playing down below in the description. So those are all my reasons on why I decided to purchase the Quest 2 despite already owning the Quest 1. Regardless of whether or not you already own the Quest 1, I really hope this video helped you in your purchase decision. If it did, Go ahead and leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel to show your support and to see more content like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.